Hey everyone, it's Celine here. Today I am back with my third edition in my back to school series. This is my huge back to school clothing haul, jewelry haul, and just one makeup product. So I'm just going to be calling this a clothing haul because for the majority of this video I will be showing you guys clothing pieces that I got when I visited New York City with my family which was so much fun and just clothing, just like a general overall clothing haul. So it is kind of cumulative from the entire summer. So let's just get into it. So I'll start off with Sephora first because I got one thing from there. Like I said, I had a gift card for my birthday back from May. So thank you to Carly for giving me that gift card. I finally got to use most of it. So I got the Tarte uh, Amazonian Butter Lipstick in the color Tulip and I'm wearing it on my lips right now, just applied. So that's what it looks like on. This is what it looks like. The packaging is so, so cute. And the best part of this is the sound it makes. Ready? Did you hear that? Was that not beautiful? Let's do it again. 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 Okay, I'll, I'll stop. And see, it's very true to its color as you see in the packaging you get in person. So I love this. It's so easy to put in your bag and it's just so naturally complimenting to my lip color especially so love it i went to lush and i haven't been lush in probably over a year and uh i did some damage i'm sorry but not really that sorry because the things i got smell so delicious uh there was a couple times where i'm not kidding you i was wondering if i could take a bite out of it because it, it smells so good um i'll start off with some of the samples that they gave me at least they gave my mom because my mom went once without me and she got me one thing and so I'll show you. But I'll show you the samples first because they gave her quite a lot of samples but when I went they gave me one hand soap sample that's like this big but I'll show you that anyway. I got the Karma Cream Hand and Body Lotion and I'll just show you what it looks like. Uh, I think it's going to spill out. Okay, it smells like... Mm, it smells like a regular lotion. It's the Ultra Blast Toothy Tabs and I looked into this because I was so confused on what it was and basically it's these little tabs if you guys can see it. It's like little tablets and what you do is you put it in your mouth and you just chew on it and then once you get it all chewed up you take your toothbrush and then you brush it around. So basically it's solid toothpaste so they gave me three of these so I'm excited to try it out because I mean solid toothpaste like chewable toothpaste I don't know. Then it's the Deep Love Shaving Soap, and it's a, oh, this is like their new product, and it looks like this. This smells, it smells like bubblegum, and like, um, it smells like sweet bubblegum, and it smells just like the hand soap that I bought, and I've been using the same hand soap from Lush for a, about like two years now. It's called Rockstar. I'll show you that actually while, while I'm here. This it smells just like the Rockstar hand soap that I bought, and I've been using this hand soap from Lush for about two years. I mean, I've only bought it like maybe once, and I've cut it in half, so I used it a couple times. I mean, until it ran out, obviously. But I got it again because it just smells so dang good. It smells like bubble gum, a little bit of minty, but it's oh my gosh, it has the most mm, such a good smell. I really, really want to eat this. So I actually bought again. I bought the um, Rockstar hand soap in its pink color. Then I got the Granny Takes a Dip. This is the name of the um bath bomb looks like this doesn't this look so good it's like hypnotic kind of look at it. it's like swirly 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 okay i'm done um so when you put it in the bathtub i think it turns like a purple color so i watched a few videos on lush.com okay it smells like um i know arjun rose talked about this in her video and that's kind of why i wanted to go get, um try it out because like she said that it smells just like those um push-up um, ice cream bars, like those like orange ones, like the sherbet ones you'd get like maybe if you were like on the road and a gas station and they had it there. I don't know. It smells really like that and again it's very sweet. I, I really like sweet smelling things. So when you put it in, it's supposed to turn like a purpley color. They have a video on Lush.com that I watched because again I really wanted to know what color my bathtub would turn. And then this is the um, item, the bath bomb that my mom bought me. And I, I'm so sad to tell you that I don't know the exact name of this, but um, it looks like this, if that helps at all. It's like a purple, white, spiral triangle, and it has like a little like plant herb in it, and I thought that was really cool. So, again, I think my tub's probably going to turn purple from this, but very, very excited to use this. And it smells very like herby, natural. It smells like mint leaves, pretty much. So that's the smell of that purple one that I just showed, called Sexy Peel. So I did open this. Didn't use it yet, because I really want to film the video first. It's like a... Very citrusy. Yeah, extreme citrus. Think like oranges and grapefruit together. So this is interesting. So I'll be using this. But yeah, that's pretty much it from Lush. Oh, and one more thing. Um, the other sample that I forgot to show you is the Gorgeous Face Moisturizer. And ooh. Okay, it just smells like a lotion. It doesn't really smell like anything. That is my Lush haul. Got some really good smelling things. And I'm so excited to finally use it now that I filmed this video. Thing I'll show you is this pair of flowy shorts and it's this really 
<sighs> it's florally, it's very flowy, and it's so comfortable. It feels like pajama pants, and since I am a petite figure, Brandy Melville's clothing generally fits me pretty well. Like, their crop tops aren't really that big crop tops on me. Like, I, they cover up my belly button pretty much, so it is, like regular of a t-shirt but it's a little bit shorter so um again these shorts are the exact same thing they cover up my butts and no butt cheeks hanging out because not cute so again i got these and this goes along with so many of the clothing items i've had because it has a slight pink color um clothing item that i got is this color and this goes so well with the flowy shorts it's this really simple like muted pink color i have i just love this color so much so soft just like many of brandy melville's clothing it's a simple v-neck and i believe this was how much this was 20 dollars. most of their clothing is around 19 to 25 dollars, but cardigans are like 60 so i never really go for that whenever i'm there and then the other t-shirt i got is this simple maroon um t-shirt and it looks like this again it's not cropped it's just a regular t-shirt and again this is twenty dollars as it says on the tag and the sleeves have the other like maroon like ending so i thought it was really cute it looked good on and i go so i got these earrings and i've worn them in a video before so it looks like this is this triangle shaped earrings and so i got that and then i also got this ring and i believe that oh the earrings were three dollars i thought it was pretty interesting because it was also lead and nickel free so um it's not gonna be um not gonna be harmful to my earlobes or anything like that and so again this ring also lead and nickel free i'm pretty sure that's what it said it was free of so it looks like this very pretty and i love it and this ring by the way you guys asked my last video these two rings again brandy melville and this is from turkey so a little shop in turkey that i got was this choker because i decided to join the trend and got a choker so this is i think five dollars or eight dollars something like that so just simple choker Looks like this when you put it on. So I'm probably going to be wearing it in a few videos and you'll see. So this is the only like black choker that I have as of now. I don't really plan on buying any more, but we'll see. This other necklace, which is so pretty. And stone necklaces are becoming a really big trend, I've noticed at least. So this is what I mean. If this was $12. I did not wear it yet. Again, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like um, with the packaging and everything. So it's this beautiful purple um greenish gray clear crystal type of thing so it's very pretty and the chain itself doesn't look cheap like i know um there are some chains that just look really clunky and not really that great quality but this one is very 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 pretty and it's this mint green color and i wore this in my giveaway video so if you wanted to enter that link will be down below so again it's still open it's going to end august 31st so you can enter that if you want to and it has this little la symbol if you guys can see that so very cute and I really liked it. The next thing I have to show you guys, I got from a random man in New York City. Um, He had like a little stand outside. You know what I mean if you've ever been to New York City or maybe other cities as well. They have like little um, stands where people sell their own merchandise and whatnot. So I got similar, like again, I'm into the stone phase, like the whole like stone necklace. It has like the gold like wrapped around the crystal and again, the chain itself is very thin and very like it's just so cute and the bottom of it is what really attracted me to it because it has this purple like ending to it um so now i'm going to top shop because i love top shop but their clothes are so expensive but they were having this like super super sale um so i got this pair of jeans and they are maroon and um this is what it looks like so it's this like high waisted ish i've had something similar to this by urban outfitters but um not that it's getting small on me, I mean, I guess it kind of is, but I want another color of it, so I think it's, no, it's a different brand, it's obviously a Topshop brand, but, oh my gosh, it's made in Turkey! Okay, sorry, I just had like a little spasm. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> it's made in Turkey, I just saw that, so uh, I got really excited, so all the better, because I am Turkish, for those of you wondering, so looks like this, again, just skinny jeans, looks like this, and then I also got one more thing, and it's this very simple but very elegant pink, um, flowy t-shirt tank top dressy blouse so it looks like this and it's kind of cropped in the middle but then there has another layer underneath it so it's very long and flowy i'm very excited this could be a very nice um first day of school outfit if i want to make it more dressy so i'm planning on doing a first week of school outfit videos like um if you guys want to see that so comment down below if you guys want to see like my um, first week of school outfit of the week or what to wear on your first day of school hair and makeup etc so comment down below if you guys want that. I got one thing from Urban Outfitters and it was hanging on a mannequin and I liked the way that it looked on the mannequin so I was like hey the mannequin can rock it I can rock it right this it's very dainty it has this like gold um circly ovally 
um, accessory, like whatever you call it, the end of the jewelry piece. And then on the bottom, it's just like that, except in a little bit of a bigger version. So it's kind of like a regular necklace, like where my necklace is now. And then it goes down to a, um, goes down to about mm, a little bit below my chest. I know it's a little bit expensive, but I mean, I know I'm going to be wearing it for the entire school year. So I got that. Funny story, while I was at Urban Outfitters, uh, I ran into Super Mac 18, which was so cool because it was just so random because I had no idea that he even lived in near me so it turns out he lives like 10-15 minutes away from my house no big deal not that i've been watching his videos for like the past four years and very cool to meet super mac 18 and he even subscribed to me and followed me on twitter so i thought that was pretty cool so if you're watching this mac love your video i doubt he'd be watching a clothing haul though but anyway so i went to nordstrom and i never go to nordstrom because their clothes are so expensive but i went to the bp section and I found this um, like stack of bracelets and it looks just like this. This is what it is actually. So um, uh, basically it has like these like stretchy bracelets and they go a lot with a lot of the colors I had in my closet already. So it's just like a set of bracelets. They're not connected so you can wear them on your own if you want. But I'm probably going to be wearing these all together at once most likely. And then the last thing I got from Nordstrom was this very nice night navy blue blouse. And so... Looks like this. It has like a lace detailing in the front and then it just goes down and it has like a, um, the sleeves itself has a little button so you could roll it up a little bit which I plan on doing when I wear it. And on the inside I think I'm going to be wearing a, either a colorful bralette or maybe a nude tank top. Sorry, I lied. One more thing from Nordstrom. I got sweatpants because I don't have any sweatpants. Last but not least, I went to PacSun and they were having a deal on jeans. So it was two for $49 in the end if you tried it on. Otherwise, it was going to be two for $69. But, uh, so I got two pairs of jeans for $49, which is pretty good for pairs of jeans, especially skinny jeans and dark wash jeans because they can be pretty expensive, especially at like places like Abercrombie or Urban Outfitters, etc. So I got this dark wash pair and it is a high rise skinniest and it's the Bullhead Company. So I have um, one pair of black jeans from them, also from PacSun. So it looks like this, just easy to wear. I mean, I needed new pairs of jeans anyways because I did grow a little bit. So regular pair of skinny jeans and then I got one in a lighter color. This is what it looks like. I mean, I should show you the front. So looks like this regular pair of jeans. Again, same style, no rips, nothing, just plain skinny jeans. And that is it for my huge back to school clothing haul. I know it was a big haul. So thank you for sitting through and watching everything. So comment down below strawberries if you've made it up to this point in the video. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Again, make sure to enter my current giveaway, my school supplies giveaway. I will be leaving the link down below. So again, as always, check the down bar for more information and links to everything. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!